Hi everyone, my name is Sophie Hinch. I'm the Education and Public Programs Coordinator at Art Windsor Essex. And I'm here today to teach you how to do a craft with things that you might have at home in your pantry, uh, in your art supplies. We'll need some paper, preferably some watercolor paper. So something a little bit thicker that can support our watercolor paints. For watercolors, we also need a cup with water, a few different paint brushes, and some other tools that you can paint with that maybe aren't paint brushes. So I'm using some forks today. You'll also need some white crayons or oil pastels, and then any kind of markers or drawing tools that you have at home. And then lastly, to keep everything in place, I'm gonna be using some green tape. So step number one, We'll be taping down our paper directly onto your table or to your board. That way, nothing will move. Uh, it's going to stay nice and flat, and it's gonna create a really nice border. We are going to use a technique called the resist technique. We are going to use either an oil pastel or a crayon, and for this to work, it has to be white because you'll see it's a little bit like a magic trick. Draw some snowflakes on your paper. They can also overlap. That's going to create a lot of movement and it's gonna make your work really dynamic. I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in just a little bit of water. I'm gonna load up my paintbrush with some paint and this is where the magic happens. As you paint across, your piece of paper, the wax from your crayons is going to resist against the watercolor and you'll see your snowflakes appear on your piece of paper. You can add more colors to make it darker, add more water to make it a little bit lighter. We're now going to use two different things that you might have in your kitchen uh, to add a little bit more detail. So the first is a fork. You can go in your paint and create movement with lines and push the paint around with your fork to kind of imitate the wind blowing the snowflakes. I have a big box of salt here and I'm gonna pour just a little bit in my hand. I'm going to sprinkle some salt on my watercolor. And you have to do this when it's wet because it's gonna create a really special effect. So, Imagine you're a chef and you're sprinkling salt on your work of art here. And what the salt is going to do, it's going to absorb some of the water and some of our watercolor and really create a unique sprinkled texture. And it's really going to look like snowflakes. Leave the salt on your piece of paper and when it's dry, wipe away the salt, um, the extra salt on your work of art and you'll see, you'll notice a really interesting speckled texture. So I hope that you learned something new today, a new technique to create your own unique snowflake or blizzard work of art. I encourage you to play around with different materials and different tools that you might have in your kitchen or your home. You can even add details with markers. This is one of my favorite projects to do in the winter months. So I can't wait to see what you will create. And I encourage you and your family to come and visit Art Windsor Essex these winter months. We have lots of great family programs on Saturdays and Sundays where different artists teach you different techniques and you get to create works of art in our studio. These programs are free with admission and they are supported by Anne Safranios and her family. So you can come and visit all of our new exhibitions and learn something new. From everyone here at Art Windsor Essex, we can't wait to see you soon.